and I just finished building like two months ago. I just invested all I had here. Collected the money yesterday saying that they are, they are going to go and meet them. Bakalifa and the chairman, they say they have an insider in, in FCDA and that that they, they keep informing them so from time to time that we just got to money and give them while these affected persons of thursday's demolition at n12 road jahi district are throwing shades at one baba khalifa and pastor emmanuel ayesa for allegedly extorting money from them as bribe both men denied the accusation they are the one that owns this place because the, the cashew so they are paying this money to them for cashew not for any this thing why we collect money it's not to bribe F uh, FCT. We collect money. Me and Shaman and Baba Khalifa, we had a meeting that we should have a money to move ahead if we can see favor from there. Officials of the FCT administration's Department of Development Control had on several occasions warned residents against acquiring lands from local. And in this case, they say there is no compensation for losses. One, they should know that the authority will not give them compensation for their loss. Two, people should always go to the appropriate authority to search for whatever property they want to buy on. So in this regard, it's unfortunate. Yes, because they are human beings, they have pains, they feel pains, and I feel their pains also. But whatever it is, it's illegal. And that's why we are removing it. The scope of operation has not been like this. So I believe that with this extensive uh, removal we are doing now with the culture of the trees, it will be difficult for them to have a breathing space now. An official also confirmed that the FCT Commissioner of Police has ordered for a thorough investigation. He has directed accordingly that thorough investigation be carried out and if they are found wanting, they should be prosecuted accordingly. And this prosecution will serve as a lesson and deterrent to those who are still involved defrauding people who are victims of this uh, remover. The FCTA says this will be a continuous exercise. Joy Igoche, ITV News.